Smart, head coach of the dogs here. <laughs> when you look at all of those accolades, it's human nature to see some complacency or maybe some pressure self-imposed, yet your team doesn't show any signs of that. How have you addressed that with them? Well, we try to stay aggressive, and uh, that, I think staying aggressive keeps your mind off the other. Um, but, I mean, it has its effect. I mean, our kids feel it. They, they do sense those things. They try to wipe them out game day and go play their best game. I don't want to make you be Pete Thamel and give us an update on all your guys that are banged up and yep. whether or not they're playing or not. But last week against Georgia Tech, I think you rushed for like 250-some yards. Carson Beck's averaging 290 yards a game. Yep. Feels like your offense is in full form right now. How do you feel about the development on the offensive side of Carson Beck this season? And what do you need to see out of him and the boys today against this Alabama defense? Keep doing what he's done. You know, hopefully he has some guys to help him out there, more guys healthy. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. So it could look just like Georgia Tech. Uh, it could look a little different depending on uh, how the warm-ups go. I'll say this. He's gotten better with each game. He's gotten better with each moment. He continues to grow. Uh, he's a guy we rely on. We put a lot of pressure on Carson to make decisions, and he's done a good job of that. Coach, you guys have done a fantastic job this year, but now this is the SEC championship game. So now this is a different level. How do you help? How do you keep your guys grounded and at the same time make sure they're mentally involved in this game? I've seen you talk about that several interviews, the mental aspect of it. How do you keep their emotions tempered but make sure they're mentally dialed in? Well, uh, we keep it simple. We don't do a lot different for this game than we do for other games because if you treat this game different than other games, it probably brings on some anxiety. We've told them that we have a routine. We believe in that routine. Nobody's got to be Superman. It's probably going to be more momentum changes in this game. Look at the game last night. A lot of momentum swings. Yeah. Every time we play Alabama, a lot of momentum swings. you got to hang on to those. you got to come out of them, and you got to have more in your favor than you don't. Kirby, a lot of people always talk about Coach Saban going against former assistants. What I think is unique is just forget all these other assistants. You personally, defensive-minded head coach coming up through the ranks, sitting in those film rooms at ungodly hours. You guys know each other so well. Does that play a factor at all? I know players got to make plays, but just the prep, the knowledge of the scheme to get your own offense ready for the familiarity, does that play a factor at all in this? I've tried to stay out of it the times we've played them because I don't want to handcuff the offensive coordinator or the offensive play caller in terms of what he wants to do. I do think when you've been in the room with somebody for nine years that you know and you think similarly, mm -hmm. although we've grown apart yeah, over eight yeah. years. Your own you fingerprints. And you do different things. Yeah. Um, but there are some things situationally that you know or they know that you're going to do that you may think opposite. But those are usually situational things, not game plan thing. I got you. There's got been you. some leaked audio of you talking to the team either before the game no. or at halftime. Let's Never. play that. Here we yeah. go. Let's yeah. play that. <laughs> Let show. We run that. This one, uh, we certainly can't because of those things. Do you save your best stuff or do you, have you thought about the messaging that you say to your team before an SEC championship game? I think going into Thursday and Friday when I talk to the team, I think about where I want to be Saturday at kickoff. And you lead into that with the message you give them Thursday and Friday to lead into that. It's just usually a little more passionate on, on yeah. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, in the locker room, you know? a little more juice. <laughs> well, stay in the locker room, though, we, Pat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what, well, I like it when I get – I heard it. I want to let you know. <laughs> what decides this game today? Who, who handles those momentum swings – in the line of scrimmage. I mean, I like to say explosive plays because both of us have, when you look at explosive plays, the guy that's won the explosive plays has usually won the game, and uh, that's a big indicator. But who manages those momentum swings better may be the one that sticks it out. Awesome. Kirby, remarkable great. run. Always great to have you with yeah, us. Appreciate I appreciate you the best of luck. Hey, hey, hey. The <laughs> today, as the dogs try to do it again. Give something.